Hello guys, um, a quick uh, live coding session today. Uh, so we will solve a problem of uh, validation in asynchronous tests. Uh, let me quickly demonstrate the problem. Uh, so let's say we have a result and we, it will be an atom. And then we will uh, do an assertion right here. So let's say we want five atoms to be uh, elements to be in the in the atom at the end. So we do result and we do count on top of that. The problem is here that we do the logic is uh, in this do async function, and we pass the result there. Um, so if we implement um, do a sync, uh, let's say do a sync result atom. Here we want to wrap that in the future, so we want to execute this code uh, on a, a separate thread. Uh, we do do seek, uh, let's say value uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we do swap on the atom, we do conj to add elements and adding value uh, and we do a bit of thread slip uh, let's say a hundred milliseconds so if I run the test it will probably fail you see because uh, we run the, uh, the assertion right after we this call and this is in a thread so it's not guaranteed to to finish and also we have these slips between the elements so a quick uh, fix that people are usually doing is add some constant sleep time right here. So five seconds. If I wait, uh, that will finish uh, correctly. Uh, the, if you add more things like that in all your tests, uh, it can pretty quickly uh, make your, the entire test suite uh, really slow. Uh, and that's actually happened in production a lot of a lot of times. Um, the service uh, like you you had this quick fix, quick hack, but after that you have problem with uh, speed of tests. We want to solve that. In that case, let's create a helper function that we can reuse. Let's call it do until. And the idea is that we'll provide a function there, and then some options. So let's say. Um, let's say just opts and the thing is we'll need extra RT of that as well so first of all we will calculate the end time and uh, it will be uh, let's call it stop time uh, it will be uh, system current time millis plus um, timeout from opts and uh, we can default it to be let's say five seconds uh, so then uh, here we'll need our secondarity of this function let's call it function and then um, opts again and stop time at the end so here we'll call do until again uh, with uh, passing the function opt and stop time. Um, here in the in the secondarity, uh, let's call result uh, as it will be just function call, uh, the function that uh, user provides in this helper. And then we have couple conditions. So first, uh, let's open the the cond thing. First one, if uh, system dot current millis is greater than stop time, in this case we want to throw an exception. Throw x info um, do until timeout. Uh, we can provide some like let's say result will be result something like that. So that's the first condition. The second one, um, let's get our matcher from opts, matcher opts. So um, with this function that the user will provide, we can validate that the result is what we actually expect. 
So in that case, we'll just return result. And the third condition, which will be default one, we do a do and we want to thread a sleep for a short period of time. Um, let's say interval from opts or 200, uh, 200 milliseconds. And um, here we will enter the loop. Uh, so we can just do do until uh, we provide our function, we provide our options and the stop time. So we will enter the loop until we exit fr from it. It's like a bit of recursion. You can, you can probably use recur here. Um, I think that will work, but I'm not sure. All right, so in that case, uh, here, we can swap to our do until helper. First parameter is the function. In our case, it will be just simple as uh, getting the values from the result. Here, we will provide the matcher, which will be another function that will get the value of some kind. And the condition we want uh, is that it's five, the co count of all the value. We don't need to derive the hubris because we just got it here. And um, in that case, I believe that should work, right? And uh, if I put something like six here, which will never met, the condition will never uh, be true. In that case, we'll have an exception on this level saying that do until timeouted. Uh, which is what we want. But in case we reach the condition, uh, it is pretty quick. You see, we don't wait five seconds now. And of course, this example is a bit uh, synthetic and uh, uh, all that stuff. But in reality, let's say here, it is uh, we send message to Kafka. And our system is started, so we have our Kafka consumer on a separate thread. And here in the do until, uh, we can uh, do a query to DB uh, to check if records are processed, something like that, if we store that in the database. And in our uh, matcher, for example, we are looking for looking for a particular type uh, of message. And if we get that, uh, then we can do our assertions, do normal assertions. So in that case, we uh, make the tests as quick as possible, but also we have this uh, deterministic guarantee that we can write our assertions when everything was finished. So yeah, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this quick uh, session. I'll post this code as uh, a gist probably, and you can find the link uh, under the video. Uh, let me know uh, what you think about the video and uh, leave any comments and please subscribe. See you next video. Bye-bye.